Good evening. For the first time in a long time, people are able to ride NFTA buses and the Metro Rail without a face mask. And those face masks are no longer needed at the airport as well. News Force Chris Servatis is here now with the latest. Even as recently as last night, Don, the NFTA was saying people still did have to wear masks at the airport, but this morning that changed. A court ruling Monday prompted the CDC to say they would no longer enforce the order requiring masks on public transportation and in airports. It wasn't until Tuesday morning that the NFTA conceded face coverings would no longer be needed at the Buffalo and Niagara Falls airports. I'm glad it's over, finally. And, you know, it's just, it was getting a little old. Even before the NFTA announced it would lift the mandate Tuesday morning, some people were walking around the Buffalo Niagara International Airport terminal without masks. I do have one in my pocket in case, just in case, you know, get prepared and uh, just like MasterCard, never leave home without it. While others kept them on. It's not a big deal for me. It'd be great whenever it's no longer required, but you know, until then, uh, not a big deal. Tonight they are no longer required. None of the major passenger airlines flying in or out of Buffalo are requiring them on domestic flights. They're not required on NFTA buses or the Metro Rail either. The CDC is still recommending people wear masks in indoor public transportation settings, and the NFTA is encouraging mask wearing as well. Dr. Tom Russo. Well, I think the use of the word recommends means that they're strongly suggesting, and certain groups, as we already delineated, that are at higher risk for severe disease, should even more strongly consider wearing masks and actually do it in high-risk settings. Russo specified those who are unvaccinated, immunocompromised, or maybe just live with a vulnerable person should still consider wearing masks, especially in those high-risk settings, even if they're not required to. Chris Arvaditz, News 4.